This is a book review of Only What's Necessary, Charles M. Schultz and the Art of Peanuts. This is by Chip Kidd and Jeff Spear. It's about 300 odd pages. Unfortunately, there's no uh, page numbering. Never understand books, why they don't have page numbering. Now it's from uh, abrahamscomicarts.com. Came out in 2020. So there's uh, the back. And it says, for 50 years from October the 2nd, 1950 to February 13th, 2000, wrote and illustrated Peanuts, a single most popular influential comic strip in the world. Apparently 17,897 strips. Wow. That is quite a lot of strips. I've got a few of the volumes of uh, all the various strips. Absolutely superb. And this one, well, I've been off buying this for quite a while. I'm not certain why, because it's a really, really nice book. It's got an introduction. Of course, this format book is always unfortunately means that you sort of probably easier to remove obviously, the cover. A lovely picture there straight away of unfinished sketch for undated. And then also you've got some lovely bits. All this is from the obviously the, the museum. And you've got lots and lots of examples all the way through. I love like this initial first one with the Drawn by Sparky, got some letters, also got some obviously early little folks, which is absolutely lovely to see these, uh, these sketches. I love the rain there and the news, obviously Snoopy there. And you've got obviously Peanuts, and you've always got lots and lots of examples of the books, all the various loads and loads of just everything about Peanuts. Absolutely superb. So, uh, Got some lovely of these uh, proof sheets as well. I love those proof sheets. These are obviously the early ones, and you can see the style of the artwork. Very different from obviously later, but still, obviously you can see the characters straight away. Also got some lovely full page ones. Obviously not full, full page, but still pretty, pretty good. And it's really good. Quite a few times when I was going through this book, and it's nice shiny paper, nice quality paper. I was actually going through it, and I actually looked at it, and I thought, oh, I've got a bit of a mark on there. It actually looked, because it's so well done, the three-dimensional, there was actually parts I just, oh, that's a bit, what's that bit? I tried to rub it off, but it wasn't, obviously it was in the, in the thing. It actually looked quite convincing to uh, think. Also you've got examples here of obviously the uh, good old tip-top comics. Sunday strips. And you've got lots of these. I love these ones. Original art. Absolutely. I think there's a IDW have brought out in a collection as well. Though uh, I haven't bought that, so... Uh, Try to avoid buying too many of those artist editions. You can go down, someone else puts it's a big hole that you can definitely dip into and you will never get out. You just keep buying lots of these brilliant books. But uh, it's like these sort of books. I love these books, but sometimes you just see. There's also another book that's slightly confusing. There's an art of book. And now I've seen a video where the person compares the two, looks at the thing, and I still might get the other art, art of book, but I think this personally looked the best of the volume so I thought this is the one I'm going to go for and you've got uh, peanuts uh, number numbered pencil colouring set you've got more original artwork this one has got Fostat hand coloured as well so it's really nice to see the hand coloured work there you've just got so many brilliant examples shipping box everything's included in this this is just absolutely and I love the other chip kid books as well I've got uh, one the uh, uh, like Shazam one the Captain Marvel, and those sort of things, just stunning. This is great, developing a comic strip, a really lovely little article, obviously, by Charles Schultz, and that's absolutely fascinating. Also, the uh, strip collections as well, all those books, just lovely books. Over the years, I've bought quite a few of those, just very enjoyable. Love these ones, I love these ones as well, these uh, cards uh, collection, that's just, I bet they're quite collectible now, but absolutely beautiful colours, I love the colouring. That's so evocative of that period. And you've got more and more examples, just Charles, uh, obviously Charles Schultz, and this one here, a napkin, where you've got, uh, just draws it obviously everywhere. And also you've got uh, Braille in there, and you've got some more, in. it's just, what a book. This is just, and also you've got these lovely ones of obviously Time, Saturday Review, and, Many, many, 300 odd pages, and this is just endless pages of lots of original artwork as well as 
obviously it's more these sort of covers of various magazines etc what a collection absolutely brilliant collection the only Chris in my site there's always no page numbering I would love a page numbering an index at the back would be really good so you could actually go to the individual sections but obviously there isn't that would just be nice it just obviously finishes with the end which is obviously always sad and uh, but it's a, a really nice ending finishing off the book just perfect I think this is just a glorious glorious book wow is the only word that comes to mind if only all other collections of sort with artists that you could have a sort of book like this I would love to see an artist collection virtually all artists just I would, absolutely beautiful so this book even if it's slightly awkward to show and uh, hold because it's always, it's always something a bit about this, sort of, this format that it's always a bit makes it more awkward for me to hold. I prefer a more sort of standard size book. This sort of book is always sort of tricky, especially with the shiny sort of slips, got shiny, but you can sort of, in your hand, you can hold it and you can feel it, just the weight just sort of going down. But this is totally recommended. And this, this is the 70 years one, one that I assume that Maybe there'd be an 80s or 90s one, and maybe, but even more material in. Who knows? It'd be nice. But this, I think, is a joy to read. Thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, just before I go, one quick site, Chris, and I was reading a review, and someone said, mentioned, so I have to admit, well, because it's true, wasn't really much about Christmas. And it's odd because that's saying Christmas, you do associate somehow Snoopy and Peanut, all that sort of thing, Charlie Brown, with Christmas. And I didn't really come across as a lot, if any, hardly, a few pages at most of Christmas. And I actually did a quick search looking for, and there's a lot of Christmas books. There's no quote, lots of Christmas books. But I couldn't find one. And maybe someone will put something in the comments saying, yes, there is, there was, there was back in five years ago, a brilliant book, but a Christmas book, all the Christmas strips. And all may, maybe a book similar to this, just devoted to Christmas, would have been amazing. I would buy that love that Christmas book would be superb but um, anyway just odd that there's no uh, not much in there totally recommended all the same